Kultur rov gelehr, hig bronu ne gemene, feha feha, in Institute Technologiachta Limnach. Welcome to Limerick Institute of Technology's Conferring Ceremony 2020. Graduates from LIT's five campuses, from here at Moilish in Limerick, from the Limerick School of Art and Design, from the LIT campus in Thurles, County Tipperary, the digital campus in Clonmel, County Tipperary, and LIT's newest campus in Ennis, County Clare. Join us now for this momentous occasion. Akara, Fault your own color, quick service game, fair as fair, it's to technology limni. Friends, welcome to the 2020 LIT graduation ceremonies. Though life has changed in this year's graduation year, one thing has not, our care for you. Graduations are at the heart of the cycle of renewal at LIT. They mark you moving on to a new phase in life and recognise your achievements in getting to this day. We are marking this most important of occasions in the best way that circumstances allow and hope that you and your families and friends enjoy the celebration. Let me begin by introducing you to the members of the conferring panel. Mr Tony Brazel, Chairman, Governing Body, LIT. Professor Vincent Ganan, President, LIT. And I am Marion Duggan, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Registered at LIT. So though we are apart today, we are together in our community. As you just heard, that was Vice President of Academic Affairs and Registrar, Marion Duggan. We will now hear from Chair of the Governing Body of LIT, Mr. Tony Brazel. President, ladies and gentlemen and graduates, on behalf of the governing body, it's my great pleasure to welcome you today. This, of course, is a most unusual graduation in the most extraordinary of circumstances for a most deserving class. So it is in an especially great pleasure to be with you on such an important day and for you and your families and those who have supported you and indeed for LIT. This is indeed a red letter day for all of us. I wish to recognise the efforts of the class of 2020 and all the LIT staff not only over the course of your programme here, but particularly since the pandemic reached our shores in March. You have shown all remarkable resilience, leadership and the ability to adapt in adversity. This will stand you all in good stead in the future. And we in the governing body believe that the standard of your exams and your work is as high as ever, despite the circumstances. Very significant work was undertaken in LIT to support the community and those of you who are in your final year when the pandemic struck. This included the ability to move all teaching and your final assessments online, something that would have been almost unthinkable until it had to be done. But it also included additional student supports, a major increase in the Student Assistance Fund extra funding for mental health and for students with disabilities. It was perhaps fortuitous 
that the government had established the new dedicated Department of Further Higher Education, Research, Innovation and Science earlier this year under Minister Simon Harris. This allowed 168 million to be, euros to be distributed in our sector to help maintain your education and the education of those who come after you by providing those supports. And we got a generous portion of that sum of money. Your experience is the heart of what we do and it is what we will always do, no matter the circumstances. This will remain true as we move towards our technological university status, which is very close at hand, which will strengthen the benefits we, we can bring to students, their families and to their communities. Today is, as I said before, a red letter day for you and your families. You have your qualification now and I hope you all enjoy the day. I wish you every success in your future endeavours and hope that as alumni you will continue to support your institution well into the future. Thank you very much and congratulations. The President of LIT, Professor Vincent Kinane, will now give his address. Akarja, to as an old arm, we and show you, I was white lumber kid me like falcha a cur of galair. Friends, you're welcome to this most unique of graduation ceremonies. Graduation is a very special event in the academic year. It's the day we celebrate the achievements of our students, now graduates. It's the culmination of applying to the college, the year spent in study, and then coming out on the far side, a graduate. It is always a time for celebration. Unfortunately, instead of us being physically together, we can only be together digitally this time. You and I have journeyed together since your beginning here. I started in LIT in September 2016, and I was with you in the same Millennium Theatre on your first days in LIT. I am particularly proud of you, the class of 2020, and I really wanted to be together with you again today at the end of that journey. Instead, you have faced the most extraordinary of circumstances during your final year of study. You have come through it and shown resilience. You have learnt new skills along the way. Online learning, online assessment, the wider digital learning. These are the skills of the future. You have begun your continued professional development before you even finish college. You, the class of 2020, have shown extraordinary qualities that will stand you in good stead in your lives and your careers. And you should be proud and confident. I am proud of you and have great confidence in you. You now join the community of LIT graduates with the highest employability rate outside of Dublin of all higher education institutions. Sought after by employers and carrying the skills and values that will propel our society into the future. And your future is very bright despite COVID-19. The pandemic has shown us how intertwined our lives are and how our society is built. We are all interdependent. We are all part of something bigger. We all have a role to play for the society we live in. You will bring your qualities into that society and everyone will benefit from that. And here in LIT, our community is intertwined and interdependent. I am so proud of all the staff here, our cleaners, our restaurant staff, our academic staff, our support staff. We have all taken care of each other in LIT. The LIT community have gone above and beyond at every turn shown ingenuity, innovation, adaptability, and all the time keeping the student at the center of what we do. I am proud of each and every member of the LIT staff, and I wish to publicly thank you all on this most important of our days. The educational tradition that we carry stretches back to the Limerick Athenaeum in 1852, with its mission of educating everyone who would benefit from that education, 
regardless of background. We have held on to that tradition through generations of staff and students. It is something that you should all hold on to, should all be proud of. But this is also a very emotional time for LIT as well. You, the graduates of 2020, are the last to graduate from LIT because we expect to become a technological university from next year. This current iteration of our heritage, Limerick Institute of Technology, will cease to be. And while we don't yet know what the next iteration will be called, we do know what the values of our new institution will be. A continued commitment to our students, to our staff, to support students on their very journeys, to offer higher education to all who would benefit from it at every level, to applied learning and applied research. All of these things are imprinted on our psyche now and will be into the future. The new TU will be built on the shoulders of those who have gone before us in our tradition. We know our spirit, and that spirit is yours now. It is what has enabled our staff and students to bring us into a new era by meeting the stringent standards required of a technological university. And already, we have taken a lead role in the formation of RUN-EU, the regional university network, a federation of like-minded, applied universities in regions across Europe, dedicated, like us, to bringing opportunity to the people of their heartlands. Whatever the new TU is called, at its heart is that heritage. And remember that you, the last graduates of LIT, will also be part of this new institution. It will still be your institution. All of this is for the future. But as Mahatma Gandhi said, the future depends on what we do in the present. And your present now is about your achievement, your hard work, your perseverance, your talent, and your resilience. Congratulations to all of you about to graduate, and to your families and friends who supported you in this journey. I also extend my thanks and appreciation. It's time to celebrate safely and enjoy. Kohardes Goler, August Gormila Mai August Goler. You will now hear from the Dean of Faculty of Applied Science, Engineering and Technology, Dr. Maura Clancy. Welcome to the Faculty of Applied Science, Engineering and Technology, the Faculty of Asset. As children, we question everything in an effort to understand our world, our universe. Those of us who continue to seek answers, or those of us who want to be the innovators and inventors of tomorrow, end up in Asset. What makes LIT's Faculty of Asset great. Easy. It's staff. When you study with us, you learn through application, skillfully guided by problem solving, critical thinking, curious, creative people who inspire and engender the next generation. Together, we explore, solve and deliver. Because yes, that's what an asset-based education creates. It doesn't just teach scientific and mathematical concepts. Hands-on learning with real-life application helps develop a variety of skill sets, including creativity and 21st century skills such as media and technology literacy, communication and social skills, leadership and entrepreneurship. 
you are soon to be one of this community. So when you are asked, what are scientists, engineers, IT specialists, just say, we are creators, we are problem solvers, we are makers, we are team players, we are asset graduates. In the words of Tom Brokaw, American author and journalist, I say to you, you are educated. Your certification is in your degree. You may think of this as the ticket to the good life. Let me ask you to consider an alternative. Think of it as your ticket to change the world. So, never stop seeking answers. Never stop trying to change the world. Congratulations to you, your family and your friends. We are proud to put your names forward as acceptance into the Asset Guild. Our Kion the Institute, Ronan Dantnach Tani, our Aulamori Institute, Tataresh and Kagdan Shin Awanchamak. On behalf of the Institute, I hereby confer awards on the learners of the Institute who have achieved the standard for those awards. The Head of Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Mr. Tony Mahan, will read the names of the graduates to be conferred. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Science, Engineering and Technology, Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, and are worthy of the award. Bachelor of Engineering in Electronic Engineering, Ian Jam Tohau, Alish Daly Shinney, Killian Delaney, Shane Flynn, Owen McEnery, Luke Miles, Cahill O'Brien, Killian Roach, Nicholas Sheehan, Brendan Tormey. Bachelor of Engineering Honours in Electronic Engineering, Ahmed Talib Al Hadrami, Matthew Broderick, Victoria Contreras Zapata, Mark Downs, James Hennigan, Jason Kiley, Andrew Lake, James Maher, Keith Mooney, Barry O'Regan, George Ryan. Kamil Zura. Bachelor of Engineering in Industrial Automation and Robotic Systems. Alim Ahsan, Darren Birmingham, John Cosgrove, Cormac Cummins, Simon Saran, Gerard Daly, Sean Flaherty, Robert Healy, Declan Higgins, Eunice Joima, Tanya McDermott, Shane McMahon, Eric's Nikki Forovs, James O'Connor, Paul Tracy, Gary Winters, Nicholas Ziglio. Bachelor of Engineering Honours in Industrial Automation and Robotic Systems. Dean Harrington, Darren Lally, Killian Linehan, Sean Murta, Joseph O'Dee, Juan Raven Salaveria, Harry Veichel. Bachelor of Engineering in Electrical Engineering, Michael Collins, Nassim Fadi Shaloub, John Foster, John Franklin, Dara Hogan, Daniel McMahon, Damien Moore, Igosa Ozawa, Inda Tuhi, Roland Zvergdens. Bachelor of Engineering Honours in Electrical Engineering, 
Niall Byrne, Wayne Cawley, Tyke Dalton, Liam Halpin, Tuff Islam, David Keane, Jeremy Lyons, Adrian Manton, Liam McEnery, Michael Minahan, Connor O'Holloran, Rory O'Sullivan, Pat Vaughan. Bachelor of Engineering in Renewable and Electrical Energy Engineering. Keane Jenkins, James Keane, David Kelly, Johnny Redmond. Bachelor of Engineering in Industrial Electrical Engineering Apprenticeship. David Conroy, Richard Cunningham, Brian Grimes, Keane Hickey, Lawrence Hickey, Keith Kilgallen, Thomas Manahan, Adam Murphy, Brona O'Kelly, Andrew O'Neill, Gavin O'Toole, Robert Rice, Robert Scott. Bachelor of Engineering in Manufacturing Technology, Gary Farmer, Damien Flynn, Murat Mahmoudov, Connor Mullally, Thomas O'Connell, Michael O'Connor, Billy O'Keefe, Dara O'Keefe, Anthony O'Looney, Leonard Sheehan, Trevor Skerritt, Shane Slattery, Jeff Waters, Matthews Wojcicki. Bachelor of Engineering in Electrical Technology, Paul Clancy, William Barris, David Birmingham, Eamon Blake, Kenneth Healy, Gerard McMahon, Owen McKenna, Ken McNamara, Derek O'Toole, Aidan Ryan, Ronan Sherlock. And the Masters of Engineering, Renan Caetano de Padula. Thank you very much, well done, and the best of luck in your careers. Now a final word from Vice President of Academic Affairs and Registrar, Ms. Marion Duggan. Congratulations to you all on your graduation. Today is your day, your moment in the spotlight. The qualification you now hold is something that no one can ever take away from you. You earned its currency and you deserve the opportunities it will bring to you. I am conscious too of the staff at LIT in all functions who have been part of your journey as well as all of those who have helped you along the way. Your family, your friends, your partners, your wide circle of support. Graduation serves to mark our graduates joining the community of LIT alumni. But this ceremony has been all about you. As the President has said, we are all interconnected, now as much as ever. So be brave, take risks, Nothing can substitute experience. Thank you all. Enjoy your day. Goromahagov, Akarda, Agus Winotanov, Astala. That brings us to the end of the conferring ceremony here at Limerick Institute of Technology. Congratulations to the LIT class of 2020. Cohorticus le gatan adiv as kim wanchamach agus ganairi antalev sithauchich.